Imagine a world where we could travel to distant stars in just a matter of days, traverse the vastness of the universe, and defy the very laws of physics that govern our reality. Does that sound like pure science fiction? Well, what if I told you that we are closer to making this dream a reality than ever before? For decades, the idea of warp drives and faster-than-light travel has been a staple of science fiction, captivating audiences and fueling our imaginations. But now, groundbreaking discoveries in physics and technology are bringing this once-impossible idea closer to reality. It may sound like fantasy, but we are on the verge of a breakthrough that could forever reshape our understanding of space travel. The concept of faster-than-light, FTL, travel, or warp drive, has long been a subject of fascination for scientists and sci-fi enthusiasts alike. It was once regarded as a distant dream, confined to the pages of novels and the stories of shows like Star Trek, where spaceships could magically warp across space, bending the fabric of the universe to travel from one distant point to another instantaneously. However, what was once considered an impossible feat might no longer be as far out of reach as it once seemed. In fact, recent advancements in theoretical physics and emerging technologies are bringing us closer to achieving FTL travel than ever before. For much of modern history, the idea of traveling faster than the speed of light has been considered impossible by the scientific community. According to Einstein's famous theory of relativity, the speed of light in a vacuum is the ultimate speed limit of the universe. Nothing, not even light itself, can travel faster than this limit. This presents a major obstacle for anyone hoping to travel to distant stars or other galaxies. The vast distances of space mean that even traveling at the speed of light would take years, centuries, or even millennia to reach the nearest star systems. The idea of traveling faster than light has remained firmly in the realm of science fiction. But what if there was a way to bypass this cosmic speed limit and travel across the universe without breaking any of the laws of physics? In the world of physics, this idea of FTL travel is known as warp drive, a concept that's rooted in general relativity but offers an intriguing way of bending spacetime to create shortcuts through the universe. The idea of warp drive is simple in theory, if you can manipulate space itself, you can make a journey between distant points in space and time much quicker. Instead of moving a spaceship through space in the traditional sense, a warp drive would allow the craft to ride on a bubble of warp space, effectively moving the space around it instead of the craft itself. This means that the spaceship would never actually exceed the speed of light within its own local bubble of space-time, thus circumventing the limits set by Einstein's laws. While this idea may sound like science fiction, the mathematics behind it has already been proven. In fact, the concept of a warp drive was first proposed in 1994 by physicist Miguel Alcubierre. His theory, known as the Alcubierre drive, suggested that it might be possible to create a warp bubble by contracting space in front of a spacecraft and expanding space behind it, creating a warp in the fabric of space-time. This process, according to Alcubierre's equations, would allow a spacecraft to move faster than the speed of light without violating the principles of general relativity. The catch, however, was that the energy required to achieve this warp would be astronomical. For a long time, the idea of creating such a warp bubble was relegated to theoretical physics and speculative thought experiments. But recent developments have brought us closer to making this dream a reality. It all begins with the discovery of exotic forms of energy, energy that exists outside the traditional understanding of matter and energy as we know it. According to current theories, Creating a warp bubble requires enormous amounts of energy to manipulate space-time. This energy would have to come from somewhere, and for a long time, the search for a feasible source of energy remained a significant barrier to making warp drive a reality. The energy needed to create a warp bubble would be so vast that it was thought to be far beyond our capabilities to generate. However, a breakthrough came when scientists began to look into a phenomenon known as solitons. Solitons are stable, self-sustaining waves that have unique properties that could potentially be harnessed to create the energy required for warp drive. These waves, which were first discovered in the 19th century, are a form of energy transfer that can maintain their shape and speed over long distances without losing their stability. In essence, solitons are waves that behave like particles, making them an intriguing concept for energy generation. In the world of telecommunications, solitons are used in fiber-optic cables to transmit signals over long distances without loss of energy or signal integrity.
but in the context of warp drive, these solitons could potentially serve as a means to stabilize the enormous amounts of energy needed to create and maintain a warp bubble. Solitons are not like regular waves in that they do not dissipate or break apart over time. Instead, they are stable and self-sustaining, meaning that once they are created, they can continue to transfer energy without losing their structure. This makes them ideal candidates for use in the creation of a warp bubble, where energy stability and consistency are critical. Solitons are also not matter in the traditional sense, nor are they energy in the conventional understanding. They are a special form of energy transfer that lies somewhere between matter and energy, and their unique properties make them highly useful for theoretical applications like faster than light travel. But how exactly would solitons help us create a warp bubble? The answer lies in their ability to maintain their energy without degradation. Because solitons are stable and self sustaining, they could potentially provide the necessary energy to distort space time and create the warp bubble that a spacecraft would need to travel faster than light. Unlike conventional forms of energy, which require constant input to maintain their power, solitons could provide a form of energy that could be reused and intensified as needed. This would solve the issue of generating the enormous amounts of energy required to create a warp bubble without exhausting our energy resources. The concept of using solitons for warp drive was first proposed by German physicist Dr. Eric Lent, who suggested that these stable waves could be the key to overcoming the energy problem that had stymied researchers for decades. Dr. Lent's work on solitons has opened up new possibilities for understanding how energy can be harnessed for use in space propulsion systems. If solitons can be used to provide the necessary energy to manipulate space-time, then we might finally have a viable path forward for creating a functional warp drive. While the idea of using solitons to power warp drive is exciting, it's important to note that this is still a very new and experimental concept. The physics of solitons and their interaction with space-time is still being studied, and there are many challenges ahead. For one, scientists still need to figure out how to generate and control solitons on the massive scale required for space travel. In addition, the question of how to use solitons to actually warp spacetime and create a stable, usable warp bubble remains unsolved. But the fact that these breakthroughs are even being considered shows just how far we have come in our understanding of the universe and our ability to manipulate the fundamental forces of nature. Another piece of the puzzle in achieving faster than light travel lies in the propulsion system. While solitons may provide the energy necessary to create the warp bubble, we still need a system to channel and distribute this energy in a way that will propel a spacecraft through space. This is where ion thrusters come in. Ion thrusters are highly efficient propulsion systems that work by electrically charging atoms, ions, and using magnetic fields to accelerate them to high speeds, creating thrust. These engines are already used in some space missions, such as the Voyager probes, and they have proven to be very effective for long-duration space travel. However, ion thrusters have limitations. While they are incredibly efficient, they provide very low thrust, meaning that they cannot produce rapid acceleration. For interstellar travel, this means that ion thrusters alone wouldn't be fast enough to get us to distant stars in a reasonable amount of time. But this does not mean that ion thrusters are useless in the context of warp drive. In fact, they may be the perfect complement to soliton based energy systems. Ion thrusters could be used to gradually accelerate a spacecraft once a warp bubble has been created, allowing for steady, sustained travel across vast distances without relying on traditional fuel sources. In addition to ion thrusters, other technologies such as solar sails could also play a role in the future of space propulsion. Solar sails work by using the pressure exerted by light particles, photons, to propel a spacecraft forward. This method of propulsion requires no fuel and could potentially allow for long-distance travel without the need for traditional engines. While solar sails are not yet capable of providing the rapid acceleration needed for interstellar travel, they could be combined with warp drive technologies to create a more efficient propulsion system for future spacecraft. Another possible method of propulsion is nuclear fusion, which is once again being explored as a viable option for long-duration space travel. Fusion propulsion systems could provide significantly higher thrust compared to ion thrusters or solar sails, 
making them a compelling option for missions that require high speeds. However, the use of nuclear technology in space travel presents its own set of challenges, particularly when it comes to the safety of astronauts and the potential for radiation exposure. Nonetheless, as fusion research progresses, it could become a key component of future space propulsion systems. While these propulsion technologies are promising, the true breakthrough in space travel may lie in the creation of a functional warp drive. This is where the work of researchers like Dr. Harold G. Sonny White comes into play. Dr. White, a former NASA scientist, has been investigating the concept of warp drive for years. In fact, he made a groundbreaking discovery a few years ago when he stumbled upon a natural warp bubble while studying the Casimir effect, a quantum phenomenon that occurs when two metal plates are placed very close together in a vacuum. This natural warp bubble, which is smaller than one millimeter in diameter, provides crucial evidence that warp bubbles can indeed be created in the real world. Dr. White's discovery has sparked renewed interest in warp drive research, and he is optimistic that we could see the first working prototype of a warp drive within the next decade. While there are still many technical and energy challenges to overcome, the fact that researchers are now able to observe and study natural warp bubbles gives us hope that we are on the right path. Combining the work of Dr. Lent and Dr. White, along with advances in soliton physics, could eventually lead to the development of a fully functional warp drive. It's important to remember that, while the idea of warp drive is tantalizing, we are still in the early stages of this research. The technical and energy-related challenges are formidable, and we are far from having a working prototype of a warp drive. However, the progress made so far is incredibly promising, and it shows that we may not be as far away from achieving faster-than-light travel as we once thought. In the coming years, we can expect continued advancements in the field of warp drive research, with the potential to revolutionize space travel and open up new frontiers in our exploration of the cosmos. With the help of innovative scientists and cutting-edge technologies, we may one day be able to travel to distant stars, explore alien worlds, and unlock the mysteries of the universe, at speeds that were once thought to be impossible.